So nice here. There are rocks, there are hippos. Hi guys, so we are at Toronto Zoo today. Um, so we are going to be seeing all the wonderful animals. So th for the entrance, let me just give you a brief intro into what to carry and what are some of the things that you need to know before coming in. There is a parking ticket that's for $12. $29. Um, parking ticket. Parking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the entrance fee is $29. The parking ticket, $29. which is $12. Uh, you want to walk? Enter before coming in make sure you have a bottle of water guys so there's we got a bottle of water from home or you can buy it on your way or you can buy it from here but things are very expensive inside the zoo so um, if you can no there are other restaurants and stuff in here um, so it's good if you carry if you want to carry food from home you can do that but we didn't do it <laughs> I got up late it took time to get ready so Sandy was like just just come just, just go and Get stuff from the yeah. zoo. Um, okay, so here is the yeah. One thing. Uh, so that's one thing. Um, entrances. Entrances twenty nine dollars, twelve dollars to get. And as soon as you enter, uh, on your left side is uh, Tim Hortons. And if you want to go use the washroom, you can do it right there. Um, uh, there's a, there's a, there are a few washrooms at the entrance too. And also there's a photo booth. So if you want to take pictures. So uh, that can also be done. And can enter from this side. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So that's the entrance right there. Um, that's where we came from. Uh, sorry. Let me just show you. So that's the entrance where we came from now. Um, today is um, not a very hot day. It's a very nice day to come to the uh, to the zoo. Just I think maximum 20 degrees. 22 maybe. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so here, yeah, they are entering into the. Zoo and uh, yeah, let's see what all interesting animals um, we can find here. This is uh, this is Kiran, great one-horned rhino, rhino house. So we can see this guy if we go to the rhino house. Yeah, guys, so I'm really excited. I have been really wanting to come to the zoo. Um, for a long time. Sandy, how do you feel? What are you looking forward to actually? All the animals. All the animals. Anything that you want to tell the people who are watching this, like maybe any tips or anything regarding coming here? I think we cannot park too far away. I mean, if, you, if you're thinking, okay, I don't want to pay the ticket and then I don't want to park in the parking lot, you think they can, there's, another, so. there's another place where they can park? I don't think so, yeah, because there's too far. It's too far and I don't, I don't know, it's, so this is it's not worth it. Ek Singh Wala Ganda, so they, there's a Hindi lippy there, they will not be there. Achha, achha, Ek Singh Wala Ganda, which means great sing, one. Sing, sing. Sing. <laughs> sing. Uh, my Hindi is not good. So Greater One Horned Rhino. It's from 11.30, they'll show him. It's Kana. almost 11.30. Is it? What time yes. is it now? Yeah, we can see that rhino from 11.30. It's 11.10 now, yeah, in 20 minutes. Look at the map, it's wrong. You guys, I mean, you should come to Toronto Zoo with your family, you know. Um, it's really, really beautiful in here. It's, uh, let me show you around. It's not really, it's not really crowded. Um, just walk around, you can be here. You come here around like, 11 and then be here until until like 7 7 is when they close so make sure you come here at least before 12 so you have enough time that's the baby rhino and that's the mommy I think wow I think that's Karen Isn't that baby rhino cute? <sighs> there you go, guys. Mm -hmm. 
I mean guys, this is amazing. Um, these animals are beautiful. I mean, they're so huge. The baby is so cute. I mean, I hope they have a big space to roam around. I mean, I think these, they're showing them between 11.30 and, I don't know, 2 or something. They'll be inside. Um, um, here, there is... Let me show you this. Um, so there's here, you can see. So they're outside. Yeah, so they're showing um, the baby rhino with the mom at different locations. So right now they're in here and I think there's this is their barn. And oh, there's, oh, I didn't see this one. Can you guys see that? There's a pig, a wild boar. It's a wild boar, yeah. What is it? No, 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 the, the wild boar. Did you see the boar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right there. It's <laughs> so calm. And these are cattle, cattle, egret. Yeah, these birds. Yeah, okay. Bye, rhino. Bye, take care. Ta -ta. Okay, guys, let's go and see more. Oh, yeah, guys, these are Indian rhino. So I didn't know that. That's cool. They're from India. Great one horned Indian rhinos. Indian rhino, okay, yeah. Okay. So, this is the Indo Malayan, Malayan, Malayan pavilion. Um, so let's see what are all the things here, but it's so green. So, so green. It's like a tropical heaven. Kachua tortoise? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, I'll, I'll show you that later, but let's just. Um, Start from one end and then see what they've got. Look at this, guys. Wow, this is so beautiful, right? I mean, something like this in Canada. And they have done a good job with the zoo. It's so natural. But can you say these, these people feel so organic? <laughs> and my baby is sleeping. Sunny, um, Sunny, Sunny. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, let's go see what we have got here. Isn't this beautiful? We are in Sea World. We're under the ocean. Swim with the fishes. Okay, so let's see more. Look at this, guys. Can you see it? He's making sound. Another one. Huh? Where? <laughs> what are these? What are these? Do you guys know what this is? Because I don't. Turk. I have no clue. Wild what this chicken? Is. Is it wild chicken? Something wild. Very people friendly. See, the person who came to visit is sleep. <laughs> More of those wild. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of wild. And they're colorful there. Look. Chickens, wild birds. There's one here. Nice colors on them, green and blue and cyan and... Okay. Look at this, look at this guys, triplets. That's nice, maybe it's a male in the middle and two females on both sides. Or, it's e or it could be a female in the middle and two males on both sides. Okay, one is walking away, the other one is walking away. Anyway, they are just beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay, so uh, guys, they are getting fed here. There's a zookeeper who is uh, feeding them. Sits there. It's pigeon. It's pigeon. Oh, pigeon. Hessen pigeon, Nicobar pigeon. They're all pigeons. And uh, yeah, oh, that's nice. Interesting to know.
Wow, that's a huge python. Uh, so it grows like this, right? What is it? Boa so this is the... Oh, it's a boa constrictor? Yeah. So this is uh, Asia's reticulated python, longest snake in the world. Wow, look at that, how huge the snake is. Guys. All right, guys, I hope I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Toronto trip zoo with us so far. I'll try my best to get as much as possible and share it with you all. What are we looking at here? Oh, right there! Oh, did you see that? Oh, he was hiding inside. It's an orangutan. Oh! <laughs> Hi, here. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh my god. I was like, you know, I came here and I see all these clothes Hello. hanging on the on the rope and I was like, what am I looking at, right? Went back inside that white cloth. Can you believe that it? Oh, you know what he's doing? What is there's it? A, the, the fan chalraya. Oh, there's so a fan. Area. So <laughs> the orangutan is like getting it, yeah. the orangutan is getting the cool air okay, from the fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there are two. Two, two nickel. <laughs> oh my god, this is so interesting. It's so funny. There's a tiny tortoise right there. So tiny. I need to see that one. Okay guys, so this is the Sumatran tiger. They are critically endangered and that's sad to know, you know. Let's see. We have to protect these guys. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's sleeping. Must be tired. Yeah, they are so endangered that uh, I guess organizations like the zoos and and uh, what do you call the conservation areas so for animals use, uh, don't use what palm oil. oh i see what is palm oil palm oil is an edible palm tree indonesia okay they're saying Acha, so they're saying palm oil plantations destroy important animal habitats. So they're saying don't buy these products. Use vegetable oil on the planet. It's used for almost everything, like makeup and oh my goodness. Okay, we have to uh, try and um, I guess guys stay away from all these products so we can save our planet and protect these animals. I guess try your best, try our best to be more organic. I am not successful at that at all, but I guess I would definitely try, definitely, for sure. So these are turtles. Look at this, beauty. There's a name, um, look at its nose, it's a, it's pointed, pointy-nosed turtle. And I think I saw one here, where is it now? I think it's, it's weird. I can only see one now, I saw a baby one too. But I guess it just swam away. But there you go guys. Well, it's written here that uh, we can see orangutans upstairs, orangutan viewing upstairs. I'm just gonna go and see if I can see anything. Hey guys, so yeah, I'm just going upstairs. Um, to see if I can see any of those 
orangutans here. I might get lucky, I'm not sure. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah. Looks like I'm only I'm the only one here and all by myself and can't really see anything. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. So Okay. Let's go back. Sandy's waiting uh, downstairs with Jasmine. Are you guys enjoying with us so far? I hope you are. Oh, there you are. There. Let me show you the two, uh, two turtles, okay? Right there. Right there. Oh my god, there are four. One, two, three, four. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. This one right here. Isn't that amazing? So going up the stairs and coming back down was not a, a waste of time, huh? Okay, let's see more, huh? Okay, so friends, we are entering into African savanna. Hoping to see more animals and big ones because African savanna, savanna have wildebeest, lions, of course, hyenas. Let's see what we've got here. Gorillas for sure, zebra, giraffe, burrows and caves of Africa. You want to go and see what they have? Okay. So this is a wild pig, wild boar. Again, it's a different color. I haven't seen boars in this color. It's a nice, nice golden brown coat they have. It's coming close to us. so. I will try my best to get as many animals as possible and show it to you guys. There's one right there. Guess what I am going to show you guys next. Any guesses? It has a very long neck. Boom! Can you guys see it? It's a tall, big, beautiful giraffe. There's another one there. I'm sure there's a couple. Wow. You shouldn't do that. We can literally. Nice and beautiful, you know? I wanted to get a close-up look of <laughs> Guys, these are hippos. <laughs> we thought that those are rocks. Yeah, Sandy was like, they will bring the hippos out at 4 p.m. And I'm like, they are no rocks, they are hippos. <laughs> How cool is that? They are just blended nicely with nature. I wish I could see their face. But they're huge. Huh? And that's their mini pond where they have fun because hippos love water. Lots of children here, eh? Like from schools, out for a picnic. But guys, one thing when you come here, there are lots of restaurants at the Toronto Zoo, but um, but some of them are open only during weekends and holidays. And some are open daily, but very few, I would say. Tim Hortons definitely is open daily. But there are um, other restaurants that are open only weekends and holidays, just so that you know, like for example, this ice cream stand here, it's not open. I guess it depends on, yeah, of course, right? Weekends are most busy. So that makes sense for them to open during weekends mostly. Living naturally. Let's see what it says. Providing our animals with... Is it cool? Let's, uh, I don't know, let's go there first to Kisho Park. Okay, so let's, we're just gonna, it says Shamba Park. Goats? What are we looking at here? Uh, hmm. 
don't see anything. Let's go to Kisho Park. Let's go to Kisho Park now. Kisho Park. Lots of people. Kisho Park, what's in there? Let's see. It says Kisho oh, the Park real, headquarters. The real skin. Huh? Skin. Oh, yeah, guys. Okay, let me show you this quickly. One second. This is a tail from the giraffe. Oh, yeah. Think about what so guys this is a real skin of a cheetah look at that that's the face right there cheetah skin it's really soft lots of things about the cheetah that help them be so fast Oh, this is a cats. They're able to find a giraffe. Them. Is this like a hyena? Poop. How did you get this skin? Um, it would have it would have been at the zoo, and um, hyena. Hyena. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I see one. I see one. It's so far away. So maybe I can get a closer, close up look at it. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, you can hear. I can, you can. Can you guys hear it? Yes, down there. Yeah, children are chanting cheetah, cheetah, cheetah. There's one right there. It's walking away. Okay, let me just try to show you. Before. Wow, there's one, two, three, four, five cheetahs, guys. Five cheetahs. Let me take a close-up look. Can you see them? Yeah. One, two, three, four, and five. Let me see if I can get a... Right there, you guys. Trying to get a better picture of them. Children are just super excited to see them. They are cheetahs are are they loners? Cheetahs are loners, I think, or maybe or do they? Some the males always uh, they're in a pack, so could be like. Oh, there's more. Six there. Right there. Zebra's behind you. Zebra? Okay. Okay, guys. Next clue. Next animal has stripes on it. Black and white. Guess. Get it? Got it? It is a zebra! Right there. These animals, you know, I see all of these wildlife uh, wildlife documentaries and when I see them and those, I never really, I guess, realized how big and beautiful they are when they see them in real. I mean, sorry, when we see them in real. It's really amazing. Beautiful. Right there, guys. That's a zebra grazing. There's two right there. They all look so alike, but if you focus on them, the stripes on one will be completely different from the stripes on the other zebra. So they're all different. They are individuals. They're not the same. Okay, let's see more. Look at the cheetahs again, guys. Yeah, it's a better view here. Beautiful, right? Okay, now we're gonna see gorillas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> They're not gorillas. I'm so sorry, guys. These are... Um, what kind of monkeys are these? Should be in... Should be written somewhere here, but... Let me just show you. These are, I think, oh, well, a kind of monkey. They're baboons. Baboons. Yeah, I was like, you know, that name was in, at the tip of my tongue. Just couldn't remember it. Look at them. They're socializing, checking each other, you know, checking for lies, which they do. This is very, very important to them, eh? What they're doing right now, it strengthens their bond. See, there's two sitting there again, bonding. That's what I'm looking forward to. So sorry guys, I was not able to... I couldn't show you the lions because they were taking a nap. And they were on top of the rocks. Very hard to see them. But they were... Um, you know those white lions? Albino lions, yeah. Look, okay, I'll show you something. Um, coming up, they are standing very close to the fence. So I think it looks like... I don't know, it looks... Cow? Wild? Bulls, maybe? Yeah, but anyway, sorry about that. Um, it all depends on whether the animal is moving around, are they active. I guess this is the time they sleep. So 
the wrong timing. Maybe when we go back to the entrance, let's see, they might be moving around and I'll try to get a, um, I'll try to capture them for you guys, okay? But right now, let me show you um, cattle, wild cattle, okay? One second here. Yeah, so friends, these are wild, wild cattle. Uh, they're called, let me show you the exact name. Ankle what to see cattle. They have the longest horns in the bovine family. Yeah, so right there. They have the longest horns. See? Okay. So. Hey, Sunny. <laughs> okay, friends. So this is a wildebeest. Have you guys heard about the wildebeest migration across the African in the African savanna? They cross that river, and then a lot of them get caught by the crocodiles, the mean crocodiles. Yeah. So these are the wildebeest. They're very strong, actually. Very tough animals. You know, they survive in. The harshest of the weathers. And, I mean, <laughs> these are all information I know from watching a lot of documentaries about animals. But there you go for you guys, little beasts. Yeah. And Jasmine is doing well. We just fed her, and uh, now she's in play mode. I don't know. Can you guys see her? Yeah, right there. <laughs> she is just having fun now. She can see colors and stuff, so she gets really excited when she sees something. So Sandy, anything to tell our friends who are watching this video about anything that you want to share with them? You can take a ride in that. But they charge money. Yeah, this is a ride. If you don't, this is a the 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 trail that we're walking right now. It's a one-hour walk. So if you are coming with. Uh, your uh, grandpa, grandma, people who have difficulty, people who have difficulty walking uh, long distances, then they, those guys can take the zoo mobile and then they can get a ride. But it is it is uh, ticketed. It's an additional price um, along with the zoo t entrance ticket. Okay, so but I don't know how much it is. I was I, I was checking the, the I did try to read the board where it says Zoomobile boarding tickets and stuff but there was no price written on it. I see something there but I don't know. Can't see. Grizzly bear? Okay. So there's a picnic area if you're coming with family you can food and stuff, right? You can just sit there and eat. Um, okay. So guys, this is a really big park. If you are coming with your family or yourself, uh, make sure you bring a lot of food with you, yeah. a lot of water, especially when it's summer day, water is must. Uh, another thing to remember is um, they have some food places inside, um, but it's they only are... one though. Yeah, well, well, yeah, well, no, they are lots, but they open only in weekends until when? July 1st. Until July 1st. And then they are open all days. Yeah. So there's one. Um, so you can see the picnic area. I will show you the picnic area right behind me. That's all picnic area right there. So I guess, right, Sani? They must bring food from home and yeah. they can sit in that in this uh, area right there. If you don't bring, see the. Just yeah. Just buy it from entrance if you don't. Yeah, if you forgot to bring it, guys, just just get some food from Tim Hortons at the entrance. We should have done it. Because it's a very big park, you can't go back. You have to circle it fully before you hit back the same place. Well, anyways, um, that's the information I have right now. Okay, grizzly bear tree. No yeah. exit. So much. Stop it now. Yeah. I'm just showing a uh, trail that we are walking on. Oh, so it's a uh, 
Coming back would be uh, a bit difficult because it's uh, uphill. Now it's a downhill, so it's easy. And you're holding yeah, the camera see. in the wrong. <laughs> Let me. Um, Is it worth the money though, Sandy? Would, what would you say? Uh, well, once in, a, once in a season, I guess. Yeah. That's and uh, don't come here and go in like two hours, right? Just come you have early. to spend time here. Yeah, just come early. Don't like uh, the zoo closes at 7, so try and come, like I said, around noon or something. And then stay until like seven or six uh don't be in a rush go for the walks long walks it's worth it oh it's so nice here it's so nice in here there's a breeze it reminds me of yeah look at that huh Where is the cat? I can't see it. Maybe there is a cat. So that's... from here? Oh yeah. We have to go down there. So you see that cat sleeping there? Where? With ears. That wild cat. Inside the cage? Yes. Okay, what are we here to see, Sunny? Uh, grizzly bears. Look at that. There's one right there. Mm -hmm. And the one playing down there. And let me show you one playing. Well, it's relaxing in the sun, sunbathing. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are huge, guys. If they stand up, they're gonna be like what? Six, seven, eight feet, maybe? Oh, they're smaller. No, they're this not, guy. Just, yeah. just imagine that guy standing up. Where, where yeah. is it? This guy over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't look like the. You remember the one that we saw in Saskatoon? They were huge. These ones are not that huge, actually. Too. So, guys, you can see a beautiful lake in the middle of the zoo. Oh, that looks so nice. Wow, look at that. We have. We always have staff patrolling, which is good. Safety huge. Safety is always good. Look at how beautiful this this looks, eh? What do you guys think? That's a sloth. Very slow moving. Very slow. Monkeys, very tiny monkeys. <laughs> so the monkeys that we just saw, it's called the common marmoset. And good. Yeah, they're good pets, yeah. They're so tiny though. So tiny. So huge, Sandy.
Yeah, it's only one baby and... Show the people that how they react when you go close. <laughs> she like that. Is she falling asleep, the baby? Mm. There's only one baby, usually these ghouls... They usually have, yeah, five, six or eight. This is a capybara. So we're just out of the sea world. We saw different varieties of fish, jellyfish, seahorses. Um, and now we just came out and this is what we see. Capybara. They're so cute. Okay, so I was wrong. It's a marsupial. It's a southern hairy-nosed wombat. Okay, it looks like a capybara though. They're so cute, they're so cute and chubby and just so nice. Oh, because these are cold, right? Yeah. That's why they're Oh, that's why they are like. Lying against this glass because it's so cold and it's too warm for them. Look at the fur, it's so thick. I think this is a snow leopard, hasn't he? Yeah. This looks like a snow leopard, guys. There should be some information. I really want to get a good picture of its face. Come on, come on, can you please wake up? I'm not supposed to knock on the window. Seahorses, male and a female. I know. I like that one with the long something on It's a long sort of thing. Okay my friends, so this was our trip to Toronto Zoo. I have tried my best to capture almost everything that I saw there and a few details of how Toronto Zoo is. Um, if you really liked my video and enjoyed it, please share your comments, like, and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Till I see you next time. Take care.